What's up everybody? Welcome back to The Budget Sportsman. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Today, I want to take you along an adventure that I actually went on last week when I hiked about a mile and a quarter to a mile and a half back into public land to a beautiful trout stream that I absolutely love to fish. Now this was my second trout trip of the year. The first one I got totally skunked. It was horrible. Uh, but I had a little bit better success on this trip so I hope you'll stay tuned. Now a couple of things that I should point out. First of all, I wanted it to be a relaxing day for me. I just needed a little bit of a break and I didn't want to spend a lot of time focusing on the camera. So I only took the GoPro on my chest. So throughout the video, that's what you're going to see. It's not going to be the best audio or video, uh, but hopefully you'll still enjoy the experience down by the creek with me. Second of all, I don't know where my brain was, but I was misidentifying fish left and right. Pretty much everything I caught was brook trout, but I was calling them something else. I was calling them rainbow trout, so I don't know what was up with that, but uh, you'll see through the video. It's kind of funny, actually. So anyways, enough talking. Let's go fishing. Well, guys, I just missed my first fish right over there, but hey, it's exciting that I actually got a bite. What are the chances he'll go for it a second time? <laughs> he did. He did. Oh, yes. First trout of the year, baby. Oh, yes. Wow, would you look at that? Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Hope you guys can see that. Boy, he swallowed it too. Wow. This is my first trout of the year and uh, a beautiful rainbow down here in a very remote part. They don't stock this part of the creek. As far as I know, they do upstream for others. So he's either drifted down or. Wow, look at that. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, man. Yeah, look at, look at that. I hope you guys can see that. That is gorgeous. My first trout of the year. Oh, all right, buddy. I'm going to let you go. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited right now. Uh, like I said, last time I came out, I got skunked. And I was really nervous about today. And that guy, what really amazes me is he went for it once. And he took it again on the second cast. Wow. Wow. Whew, I'm so happy. Oh, look at that. Another one out of the same hole. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I cannot believe that. Oh, oh. Look at that. This is why, guys, I need a net. You guys have been telling me this for a long time. I tried to lift him up. When I lifted him up, he got off. But that was the second one out of the same exact hole. <laughs> no dice on three times in a row. Actually, that was three times already. Man, I cannot believe that. I am so excited to have caught the first rainbow trout of the year. First any trout, but it happened to be a rainbow. Oh, another one out of the same hole. <laughs> oh man, and these guys are fighting hard too. Oh yeah. Come on buddy, come on. Come here. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited right now. That right there for this creek is a super, super nice rainbow trout. That's the second one I've actually caught out of that hole. The fourth bite out of about five casts. Three of them on, one of them I lost. Look at that, that's a beautiful rainbow trout right there. That's the second one I caught out of that hole and another one got away from me. <laughs> it's interesting, every one that I let go doesn't swim back upstream, they swim across and go over here downstream a little ways. <sighs> what are the chances? What are the chances? How many can I get out of this one hole? Well guys, let me show you, hopefully you can see it on the GoPro here where I was catching those. There's this 90 degree bend in the creek here and on the outside corner of that bend, there's a deep hole with some rocks over there. 
I was fishing it from downstream and just caught two really nice rainbows out of the same hole there and uh, had another one all the way to the bank and lost it and another bite that I didn't uh, wasn't able to set the hook on him but that's a that's awesome start to this trip right there oh I just missed another one right here oh my goodness well that was dumb I just cast over there and cast about six inches too far and got my lure stuck and of course I didn't bring my waders because I didn't feel like carrying them all the way down in here. So I might see if there's any place I can get across the stream. If not, I'm going to have to break my line and hope they're biting on something else. Well, guys, this might be dumb, but I'm going to cross this log right here, go down there to that bend and get my lure. I really hate losing lures, especially when it's one they're biting on. So I'm going to try to do this as safely as I can. If I fall in, it's going to be cold. All right, well, made it across the first time. Just got to get the lure and get back across. Oh, guys, that was probably one of the dumber things I've done in a while. It's still pretty cold. If I fell in that water, it'd end my fishing trip and it'd be a cold, wet walk back. But it's not so cold that I was worried about hypothermia or anything, so that's why I took the risk. But Still probably pretty dumb over a two dollar lure but when they're biting on it i want to keep fishing with it i think we'll move upstream here a little bit there's some other places up here that look pretty good actually right up over there under those logs well that's gonna be a hard one to cast up in there but boy yeah i don't know that i can really get over there but if i could Oh yeah, I saw one dart out from there. Oh yeah, it darted out from the shadows. I am really liking the looks of this spot right here. There's like a beaver dam right here and a pretty good pool on the back side of it. So let me see what, what we might be able to pull out of here. Oh, I saw one dart after it. Man, every single time. Oh, that was a fall fish, but he was playing with it. <laughs> That's not what we're after. We're not after those. Guys, I don't know if you saw that or not, but I just started the camera because I thought that I might get a bite here. And sure enough, a really nice one came out and took it, but I missed him somehow. Man, that was a nice one too. Well, I guess that one's not dumb enough to go for it twice like the other one was. That's a bummer. That was a nice one. Right here over this, right here over this lip. Really nice one. Oh, yes! <laughs> Yes, that's really what we came down here for, these brookies. Fish number three of today. Oh, I don't know what it is about catching these trout. That is so much fun. Well guys, I caught those couple fish right at the start and then one fish a little later on. Been fishing about an hour and 15 minutes. It's really slowed down now. Just stopped for a little snack of a granola bar and a little break here. I got thinking about it and I said those first couple fish I caught were rainbows. And I'm going to have to go back and look at the footage. But for some reason I'm pretty sure they were actually uh, brook trout. I don't know what my brain was thinking when I pulled them out. I guess it's been a while since I caught any trout since last year. And uh, I don't know, my brain just kind of flipped the switch there. But anyways, I'll check the footage later when I get back home. But pretty sure those were actually all three book, brook trout. Uh, which makes more sense down in this part of the creek. I guess it's been a while since I've been catching some trout. And so uh, I don't know what my brain was thinking, but pretty sure those are brook trout. And uh, I'll make sure I make it clear in the video somewhere. 
Well guys, I've been fishing for a while with the camera off, but uh, thought I should turn it on. I don't see it now, but just a minute ago I saw a turtle in here, and then I cast in this spot, I also got a bite. So let's uh, cast again, see if we can't actually connect this time. Oh, man, he went for it again. I saw him that time. <sighs> looks like a, that one there looks like a brown trout. Finally caught another one. It's been an hour and a half or two hours, so. Whew, glad I finally caught another one. Uh, sorry I didn't have the camera on. That one looks definitely more like a brown trout. Well guys, I was probably a mile upstream and I only had a little bit of time left, but I hightailed it back to the place where I started to see if they're still biting in the hole where I started off. Let's find out. Nope, doesn't look like it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Like I said, just GoPro video there for you. But there's something that I absolutely love about fishing those somewhat remote, crystal clear streams and pulling a beautiful brook trout out of a little hole. There is just nothing quite like it. I mean, I love to fish out of my boat. I love to catch bass, but honestly, I have to say, I think catching those native brook trout out of a remote stream like that is one of my favorite types of fishing to do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite kind of fishing is. And until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.